But if you wanted to get it down to a T, you would have to do what uh, the Japanese gardens do with the raking, how sand is on every grain of thing, how extreme a OCD measure is, is how like strongly he would look at each part. It's almost a great representation of how cell life occurs. It makes up a body from just two of them. And it's always in continuous of uh, like your diet with whatever you've ate in ordinating and coordinating designations for homeostasis. That's a great representation of the Japanese gardening and just the feng shui of a well put together group. Why I mention that is the more that you edit out the past and you have less remembrance of it, just because everything in front of you is so shiny, it loses uh, the argument for new technologies being bad. Well, now they're more acceptable if you have nothing that was a precursor that had been better. And when Democrats always uh, stutter and then they say something, they pause mid-sentence and they finish a different sentence, it's begging the audience to adhere to an Alzheimer's demeanor. And that is really scary because Alzheimer's is the number one proponent for not remembering the past and then just taking anything put in front of you. The following I try to speak on how much um, a structure has a say within its interior and so much so to the point where the arrow of time is a construct of uh, you know a linear trajectory where the past uh, is a potential but not if you don't remember it. I think the brilliant standpoint of the two would be as there's a black hole potential anywhere and within every black hole is a single You know, something infinitely dense. And so no matter the configuration you're going for, uh, there's always like And so my friend has OCD. I'm trying to read some books that would handle how he handles things. I think he's always moving stuff around to get it in a symmetry in sorts, either to depict how badly uh, his house gets messed up so he can have order, or maybe he's trying to do something more extravagant, such as like moving potential energies around I think the ultimate way to understand how well his OCD condition is, is to know like if you've got a big room, the objects in it, you're gonna have to kind of like separate the furniture because you can't have giant furniture. Most people aren't above six feet. So when your furniture isn't as big as a giant room. You just separate the room into columns and then set the furniture out as necessary. Versus a smaller room, uh, you're gonna have to not have everything in the corners to have like a feng shui kind of set it in a way that the room would be oriented in a fashion of subsets equally. Cells are great. Look at Bill Gates, for example. You would think that he doesn't have too many years left in him. But what if there was a world where old people got sent off so quickly where the age limit for being old was dropped significantly and then all the babies being born were killed because people tried killing uh, fetuses as they were confused for babies being fetuses and fetuses were babies being confused for 
fetuses being babies. The um, importance of that is that defining healthy, you know, not old or uh, a tiny baby would then be uh, resought at and a resought at would be figuration of Bill Gates' imagination. But uh, separately, the difference between like what a point and shoot camera is versus like a DSLR camera is that the DSLR camera is uh, called the big brother camera to the point and shoot because it's got a wider range it's a digital single light um, reflector and so it's got a bigger scope of the um, light that's coming onto it. But is it better than the point and shoot just because the point and shoot is made to have more ability to have more agility to just pick up and go forth? So the point in being is how is it that the point and shoot camera is less important than a DSLR and at what point play on words the um, DSLR is uh, more renowned for being attached to drones because uh, it's usually lighter and so classically you would use a drone to do that but classically uh drones shouldn't even be having cameras on them so you're gonna get into the argument of hybrids you're um like talking about fire and then plasma if you don't know plasma is a um an element above uh what fire would be because it's a lot hotter and it has more uh features to it that make it more significant to fire then fire well how do you fancy yourself plasma more than fire well it just breaks down to an opinion and at what point is a hybrid uh the point in case where you're saying it's better than it well it's not better than it if it isn't just your opinion making that point in case Separately, when cells uh, come together, they naturally just make uh, a body. And so that being a construct of what is a natural process is a splitting image of how um, natural, extravagant things could be. You know, luxurious things like electricity flowing through a light bulb. In the universe, there's a cosmic froth. I don't know if you know about this. The cosmic froth is uh, abundant throughout each solar system, uh, if not every galaxy. And it's just these patches of, um, well, rubble material. But in the cosmos, it's uh, devoid of dust uh, because it isn't it. So if you're having that as like this turbulence thing, you know, when gravitational lensing occurs, the froth would of course excite it. And the universe expanding out as well would have a lip on it where it's expanding outwards. The topology, meaning the shape design of the cosmic froth and then the lip of the universe, you know, expanding out uh, in all directions really quickly. How uh, significant is that shape of the lip to the cosmic froth? And could it might be where we're looking at one and then the other, having them excite each other, just as though a coil could be inside of a um, light bulb. And then, if you can understand the resignation of making it like a lot easier um, with garbage, you know, I just put like a whole bunch of garbage inside of a capsule and 
it was bouncing on top of these two um, Q-tips. I'm thinking, hey, this is kind of like um, a coil would act. And I'm thinking how much of it having a potential energy, you know, the stuff on top of it is almost as though the coil uh, having that electricity charge surge through it being equivalent. How could you mimic that surge charge? Well, all the garbage sat on top of the two cube tips could just as well be um, like a pickle. You know, if you send conductive charges through a pickle, it lights up like a bulb. Well, there and you have a coil that's doing the illumination within the light bulb, where if you just have the pickle doing it, it's gonna make a natural sense of uh, excitement that illuminates. The more that, like on a phone where you can blast up the brightness in the contrasting of your phone, you can like make it brighter. This is actually a feature where if you just enhance a few things like brightness or matte, you know, matte is like a kind of roughness to the image. It's going to be able to achieve these kind of features that are necessary to have components that would mimic um, a charge from electricity if it were just trash that was set right like on top of two Q-tips inside of a vessel. This would of course be how um, important the Faraday cage was because it holds the potential to have stuff be devoid of its outskirts while capitalizing off of the interior, having a subset of its own abilities to do whatever, almost as the cosmic froth naturally would occur within the universe as it expands outward. Lastly, there's animals and then there's only like two of them. So it's like your opinion can be on like anything, right? But then if you have um, a certain particular way of looking at things, mainly how um, you can look at all the animal kingdom as just being the predators or the prey. And I saw that the predators, they have eyes on the front of their head and the prey, they usually have eyes on either side of their head. Uh, really disturbing uh, to see like a rabbit look at you at the side and you only see half their face but their eyeballs on you and so that is like a, a depiction of how you can look at that